How's it going, everybody? Arthur Reyes here once again with one NFL game we're going to be discussing for this video. So before we dive into that, I want to get the sponsor here as we are sponsored by No House Advantage, as you can see in the corner, which is Fantasy Sports Redefined, where you're able to bet on players over-unders for a shot at 21 times your bet. And if you don't want to do that, you can play in pick em contests against other players for your chance at cash prizes. Visit the link in the description below and use the promo code WANDW, that is all one word with zero spaces, for a first time deposit bonus of up to $50. And make sure to go over to Winners and Winners as well, as we have 50% off right now on any of my premium packages using the promo code PLVAERT50. So make sure to check that out. And now let's get back into the actual thing that you're here for. The Minnesota Vikings taking on the Buffalo Bills. They're in Buffalo. I know this game has been very weird to look at because obviously the Josh Allen situation where he has a UCL sprain in his throwing elbow and that has really made the bookmakers really shaky on if he's going to play. Uh, their coach has not really made that public yet as they said it's basically an hour by hour situation of if he is able to play in this game I'm really feeling the Vikings on this I know that we lost value because this game opened up at around seven and a half points and this has been all the way down to three and a half right now I'm still taking that I think the Vikings have a real good chance to win this outright Buffalo is coming off of a loss against the New York Jets last week on the road, 20-17. to So there is a blueprint to beat a Josh Allen team. Josh Allen not being at 100% if he is playing, that is, is a big situation. I do not think that this Buffalo team has really faced as tough of an offense in the last few weeks as this Minnesota Vikings team. I think Kansas City might be the only team really as complete of a offense that they have faced this season, and they gave up 20 points in that game. If it is Case Keenum, I want to get this number early. I don't think that this number is going to jump as much as it will from now. Uh, and this Minnesota Vikings team, they are doing extremely well. They are, right now, as I'm looking at the standings, three and a half games up on the division. They're... Uh, they're trying to get that one seed to get the bye in the NFC playoffs. But Kirk Cousins is doing great. He has 13 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Davin Cook, 5 touchdowns. And then obviously the wide receiver of Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. They've been dominating. I think they're going to be able to stop Stefan Diggs on defense. I really think that. If it's Case Keenum under center for Buffalo, obviously this is going to cost them games. This is, again, a rematch or, excuse me, a reunion game, essentially. A revenge. That's the better word that I'm looking for here. So a revenge game for Stefan Diggs as he obviously was a part of the Vikings for the beginning portion of his career. But Buffalo doesn't have a run game. Uh... They have 23 of their 25 touchdowns have been provided by Josh Allen, whether it be throwing the football or his four rushing touchdowns. So this offense is not built to play with Josh Allen out of the game. I think they're going to rest him here, and that's going to just bring this game pretty low. Neither team has been very good against the spread, as Minnesota is 3-4-1 and one against the spread this year, and Buffalo is 4-3-1. So all of that is to say I'm going to be taking the Minnesota Vikings plus three and a half in this game. Probably sprinkle a little bit on the under as well, as I don't think this game is going to have a lot of offense. But that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. Click the bell in the corner for notifications whenever we have videos coming up. And I will see you guys in the next one.